27 incredible treasures were discovered in King Tut's tomb. Discover the incredible treasures found in King Tut's tomb, a testament to the opulence of ancient Egyptian civilization. Tutankhamun's tomb, discovered by archaeologists in the Valley of the Kings on November 4, 1922, was found loaded with treasures. Some of those artifacts, like his death mask, are widely known. But others, such as a mannequin that may have helped the boy king choose what to wear, are less famous but offer insight into King Tut's life. Here are fascinating treasures from Tutankhamun's tomb and what they reveal about the iconic ancient Egyptian pharaoh years after the discovery of his remains. Garment Mannequin One of the lesser-known treasures from Tutankhamun's tomb is a mannequin used to help choose, adjust, and store the king's wardrobe and jewelry. Tut was, of course, a very snappy dresser with a huge wardrobe, both for his life and afterlife, Laura Rainieri Roy, founder and director of Ancient Egypt Alive, an educational organization, told Live Science in an email. There were hundreds of garments, twelve sumptuous robes, dozens of sandals, underwear, socks, even Tut's baby clothes, that British archaeologist Howard Carter found in Tut's tomb, Rainieri Roy noted. It makes sense for such a clothes horse to need a mannequin on which to hang, display ornate robes and jewelry, even perhaps for his wardrobe attendants to make and prepare outfits and make adjustments to the king's vestments. Golden Sandals Tutankhamun's mummy was found wearing gold sandals. The total length was about 29.5 cm, 11.6 inches, Andre Veldmeijer, director of the Ancient Egyptian Footwear Project, told Live Science in an email. Tutankhamun likely would not have worn these sandals when he was alive, Veldmeijer said. Sandals like these would likely have been made specifically for his burial. These gold sandals would have been cut from a plate of gold sheet and embossed, probably on a soft surface protected by a layer of leather, Veldmeijer said, noting that this process is not that different from how in modern days thin metal is hammered into shape and decorated. Tutankhamun's Coffin Tutankhamun was laid to rest in three coffins nested within each other. The combined coffin weighs about 1.25 tons, 1.3 metric tons, Joyce Tilsley, an Egyptology professor at the University of Manchester in the UK, wrote in her book, Tutankhamun, The Search for an Egyptian King, Basic Books, 2012. The large size of the coffins, coupled with the relatively small size of Tutankhamun's tomb, made it challenging for Carter to open them, Tilsley noted. All three coffins show Tutankhamun with a long beard and holding a crook and flail. The Egyptian Ministry of Tourism and Antiquities notes that the outer coffin is made of gilded wood and has blue and red glass on its crook and flail. Tilsley said the second coffin is also made of gilded wood and was found with several plants, including disintegrating lotus flowers, on it. The ministry notes that the third and innermost coffin is made of solid gold and was found wrapped in linen. Tutankhamun was laid to rest in this innermost coffin, with his death mask among other items on him. Tutankhamun's Throne Two thrones were found in Tutankhamun's tomb, Eaton Krauss said. One was made of ebony, and because it resembled a bishop's chair, Carter called it the ecclesiastical throne, although there is no evidence that it had a special religious purpose. The other throne, sometimes called the Golden Throne, has a depiction of Tutankhamun and his wife, in Kesenamen, Tilsley noted in her book. In his notes, Carter wrote that Ain Kesenamen seems to be placing ointment or perfume on Tutankhamun. This throne is about three feet, one meter, tall and was wrapped in linen. It is a wooden chair with a solid, slightly sloping back panel, arms, openwork side panels and four legs carved to resemble lion legs, Tilsley wrote. The chair was covered in gold and silver foil and inlaid with colorful stones, glass and faience, glazed ceramic. Chariots Six chariots were found in Tutankhamun's tomb, according to research published in 2020 in the journal Comite International pour l'Egyptologie, French for International Committee for Egyptology. Carter referred to two of the most elaborate chariots as state chariots, the team noted in their paper. The researchers' in-depth analysis and restoration of one of the state chariots found that it had a canopy above it that could have provided shade for those riding in it. 
The chariot also has images of six foreign captives on its right side, as well as hieroglyphs with the names of Tutankhamun and Enkesanamun. It also has an image of a solar falcon with outstretched wings and a hieroglyphic inscription saying that the falcon represents Horus, an Egyptian god associated with the sun. Trumpets Two trumpets, one made of silver and the other of gilded bronze, were found in Tutankhamun's tomb and are among the oldest surviving labrosomes, instruments played with vibrations from the lips, in the world, according to the book, The Science of Brass Instruments, Springer International Publishing, 2021. Musician James Tappern played the trumpets in a 1939 BBC broadcast that can be heard on YouTube. However, to play the trumpets, he had to use a modern wooden mouthpiece, so it's not clear if the pitches Tappern played would have been possible in Tutankhamun's time, the researchers noted. Today, the playing of these instruments is prohibited because of their fragility. Anubis this statue of Anubis, a jackal-headed ancient Egyptian god associated with mummification, was found in Tutankhamun's tomb. It is made of wood and gold. Breastplate This colorful breastplate was discovered in the tomb of Tutankhamun and appears to have a scarab-shaped amulet at the center. These amulets were often found in ancient Egypt, as the scarab beetle was seen as a symbol of resurrection or rebirth. Osiris Wall Painting in Tomb this wall painting in Tutankhamun's tomb shows the pharaoh interacting with Osiris, a deity considered to be a god of the underworld. Tut was about 19 years old when he passed away. Ivory-covered box This wooden box, covered with ivory, is from the tomb of Tutankhamun. The box has elaborate paintings on it that display motifs that are difficult to interpret. Anubis and Hathor wall painting In this wall painting, Tutankhamun is flanked by the ancient Egyptian deities Anubis and Hathor. Anubis is a jackal-headed god associated with mummification, while Hathor is associated with fertility and love, among other things. Animal Mural This mural from Tutankhamun's tomb appears to show six baboons, as well as a scarab on a boat. Baboons were imported to Egypt from further south, while scarab beetles were associated with rebirth or resurrection. Canopic Jars The lid of canopic jars found in Tutankhamun's tomb. Jars like these held the remains of internal organs, such as the liver and lungs, that were removed during the mummification process. Tut and Wife Tutankhamun and his wife, Enkesanamun, are shown in this painting found in Tut's tomb. The tomb of Enkesanamun has not been found and is believed to be somewhere in the Valley of the Kings. Cup this floral-shaped cup is from Tutankhamun's tomb. The hieroglyphic inscriptions on it ask that Tut be given millions of years of life. Jar This jar, found in Tutankhamun's tomb, has a lion at the top. The motifs at the bottom may represent Egypt's enemies in Nubia and Western Asia and may represent triumph over them. The jar may have been used to hold cosmetics. Shabt A shabti found in Tutankhamun's tomb. Shabtis are commonly found in ancient Egyptian tombs and were meant to serve the deceased in the afterlife. This shabti is made of limestone and is holding a crook and flail. Bed This bed is one of several found in the tomb of Tutankhamun. Made of wood gilded with gold, it has depictions of cows on it. In ancient Egypt, cows were sometimes associated with Hathor, a goddess associated with fertility and love. Diadem this diadem, found in Tutankhamun's tomb, has depictions of a vulture and cobra on it. It is made of gold along with glass, lapis lazuli, obsidian, and malachite, among other materials. Mummy Tutankhamun's mummy still rests in his tomb in the Valley of the Kings. While many of the objects in his tomb have been moved into museums, the pharaoh remains in his tomb. Hippo Hunter This small statue, found in Tutankhamun's tomb, shows the pharaoh hunting hippos with a harpoon. Despite his health problems, it's possible that Tut went hippo hunting in real life. Model Boat A model of a boat, found in the tomb of Tutankhamun. Made of painted wood with sail rigging, 
the model is about 3.9 inches, 10 centimeters, across and 8.7 inches, 22 centimeters, long. Outside box. The three coffins of Tutankhamun were found in a quartzite box, shown here. It has depictions of four goddesses inscribed on it, Isis, Nephthys, Neith, and Selkit. More Shabtis. Additional Shabtis found in Tutankhamun's tomb. One of them has a headdress known as a Neem's headdress, and the other has a wig known as a Nubian wig. Wooden box. Gold buckle. This golden buckle was found in Tutankhamun's tomb. It has a depiction of the pharaoh riding on his chariot, watching. If you enjoyed the content, please take a moment to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. By doing so, you'll be the first to know when we release new videos. And the best part? Subscribing is completely free.